I think the word is cautiously optimistic. Uh, the world has gone through a difficult uh, two, three years, one of the most uh, severe recessions um, in recent memories. Uh, in Bahrain, however, we have maintained positive growth throughout this period, uh, but our rate of growth has been limited uh, to the rate of global growth. We, you know, globalization um, means that we're all interlinked and we're all uh, affected by what has gone on. Um, so, um, but, uh, so our rate of growth has been limited by the state of the world economy. Having said that, we see uh, growth coming back, starting to accelerate. Optimism um, is coming back within the private sector and um, in our international meetings. Uh, so I think um, we are cautiously optimistic that 2011 will be a, a better year. I think one of the things this crisis has taught us is that fundamentals matter. So I think all of us, um, whether we're countries or companies, need to focus on the fundamental building blocks that make our uh, companies uh, strong or our economy strong. Um, and if we focus on having sound balance sheets uh, and, and uh, attention to your stakeholders and your customers, um, I think it will help us be resilient. Uh, another aspect is we have to be adaptable. Um, if, you, if you have strong fundamentals and you can react quickly, I think you will be in a position to handle whatever comes, whatever the, the world economy throws at you um, with um, uh, strength and, and ability to handle it. So I think these two um, factors is having strong fundamentals and remaining adaptable uh, and, and agile. I think uh, th having these two principles will allow economies, companies, be better able to handle uh, the storms uh, this new global economy uh, gives us. I would say it's unfair to put the blame solely on business. Um, Governments have to change and business has to take advantage uh, of, of these opportunities. So um, as, as growth goes to developing uh, countries, or as they say, growth moving east, I think the developing countries have to change the old policies and, and the old bad policies. Um, policies of mass subsidies, policies of protectionism, policies uh, that um, you know with uh, played with currency exchange uh, regimes. Um, these uh, governments must adapt um, more um, open, more business friendly uh, policies as we do in in Bahrain, uh, and and uh, build. Uh, an, an environment that is conducive to business. Business, on the other hand, um, must take a, a more long-term view, invest for the long run. Um, it is not now solely on the, 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 the financial bottom line, uh, but you also have to take on your social role. These are, uh, and, and take a longer term view at things. And it is a, balance, uh, a balanced approach from government and from businesses. I think it will enable businesses to grow in the long run and, and countries to grow in the long run. We have um, three um, values that we are trying to adopt uh, in Bahrain. Uh, in Bahrain, we have Vision 2030. And as part of Vision 2030, we have three fundamental values we're trying to underpin these. And these are um, uh, competitiveness, fairness, and sustainability. Um, and I think they apply actually to um, any country or anyone all over the world. Um, if we create a level playing field and have uh, a, a fair playing field for all countries and companies, um, if we um, uh, promote competition, uh, that brings about innovation, that brings about development, and, and uh, lets uh, companies become stronger. Um, 
and also uh, sustainability. I mean, it, it is part of our long-term interest. So I think you know these are three values and norms uh, we have uh, adopted uh, in Bahrain, and actually I think um, they apply uh, to anywhere in the world. In the past, um, people viewed sustainability as environmental sustainability. But at the same time, they practiced sustainability every day. And what, but what they practiced was fiscal sustainability, they, the, um, where their revenues should be greater than their costs, and their businesses became fiscally sustainable. We have to do, take the same view and the same principles to other parts of, of the world, uh, be it the environment, be it society, um, and, and where you you know, what you uh, consume uh, must be less than what you put back. Uh, and, and, and therefore, you, you can build and grow the environment to, to save you better. You can build and grow society uh, to, to, to help and serve the economy as well. So we're used to fiscal sustainability. It's what drives capitalism. It's what drives businesses. We just need to adapt it. Um, and, and interpret uh, it and, and use the environment to our advantage, use um, in developing, um, um, you know, society, uh, again, also to an our advantage. So sustainability is a word we live and breathe and practice every day, but we've, we were only used to one aspect of it. And I think we can now, we, if we just broaden the definition of what sustainability is, we can make better use of it uh, and make the world a better place.